All right, guys, it's been a few days. Go ahead and got the nice GM mirror. We're gonna go ahead and get this joker uh, put back up in here, connect the GM connector and everything back onto here. So still waiting for the uh, uh, sun visors to come in. We got to come in and that should pretty much complete the interior. Everything else is uh, looking good. Uh, I did get the black emblems for the hood and the uh, trunk, so we will get those. And we got a few other things coming. Pretty simple install. Got the mirror out with the little underlights. Everything's looking good. We do have a small little mechanical issue. Misfire under the hood. Uh, and it's a random misfire once it gets hot. So what we're going to go ahead and do, now it's showing cylinder number two. I'm going to go ahead and swap some of the spark plug boots and see if it's still going to take my scanner and see if it still misfires and see if it jumps between that, if it's the boot or if there's a crack in the housing. If it doesn't jump, then it would probably be the ignition control module, which kind of acts like the distributor for a distributorless car because it's an overhead cam. Not that you can't have a distributor on an overhead cam, but and we'll see if that's the main issue before I just start buying parts and throwing it at it because that's just absolute wrong thing to do. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, take this apart and we'll see about getting this thing diagnosed. It is on cylinder number two right now, so we'll swap them all around and see if it changes and we'll take this joker for a test drive. All right, y'all, look what we got in stock today. We got some visors in. So we'll go ahead and get the old visors put up in the uh, Cavalier. We almost done with this project. Ugh. We can see it, get a quick shot of the interior now. Got all the door cards, dash is all together. Took it out for a little test drive. Also, uh, I forgot to actually film it, but uh, I was able to get the, uh, uh, the ignition uh, misfire issue uh, taken care of. The issue actually was the cracked coil pack housing. The coil pack housing where the ignition coils and the ignition control module sits underneath the hood. I'm not gonna show you guys, I've seen it under the hood a bunch of times. Um, I don't know if I have the box here. Nope, I threw it away. Um, but that's all fixed. It was just a, uh, a small little issue there. And we got a couple blown out light bulbs and that's pretty much it. But check this out, we was able to source these. These jokers are kind of expensive. So we got this one, same color. Look at this. This is what they had this thing wrapped in when I got it. That's a little crazy. And now we got mirrors now on both sides. We moving up, we fancy now. So we'll get these sun visors installed and uh, go from there. All right, we got some fine, like, so we got some working visors up in here. Some mirrors and on the other side too. So you can check your pretty self out while you're driving your Z24 Cavalier. It's gonna be ready. And one more thing done, add it to the interior. Everything looking good. Just gotta wait for our side skirts to get back from the moldings, uh, from the from the body shop, and we should be good. All right, guys, jumping to the next section here. Look what we got in. We got our black bow ties, number one, and bam, number two. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, get those put on the old Cavalier. They're actually for a newer 1500, so. Uh, they are actual GM ones, but we're going to go on ahead and uh, cut the backs of these things off here and put some uh, double-sided tape, just like how the uh, old factory ones were. Pretty close in the size, but uh, old ones were a little bigger and just looks like they uh, broke the tabs off the old one from the factory. So uh, we'll go ahead and get these put on and uh, taped on just how they were from the factory. I'm right. So we got the uh, black bow ties on, and they go pretty good, actually, with the... Uh, the headlights so thank you Chevy Silverado nice with the Z24 badges and we'll come walk around right into the back over here and that one goes pretty good right there as well so absolutely perfect size I think everything's looking pretty good and it's looking a whole look a whole lot better once we've gone ahead and uh, get those windows done so absolutely so That'll be uh, coming up uh, sooner than later, but we got some uh, side skirts over here that we're going to try and uh, fix those cracks. So let's go ahead and uh, try and get to some of it. All right, look at that. Got our first pl weld. Could see through it, not too shabby. I haven't done too much plastic welding, only with a soldering iron. I mean, it's the same concept, but 
not too bad and we'll cover it up with some bondine to smooth this out make it look a little bit prettier but uh not too bad and it's also reinforced and uh came out pretty good second one not too bad we're gonna need to put some filler between this one here and then the rest of the crack will be right there and that'll be covered up with just a tad of uh uh, excuse me body filler and because this part is actually underneath the car you won't ever really see it and this will be the part that we panel bond so everything else is going to just get sanded down and it should look pretty good so i can't believe i actually saved them let's see how much my buddy charges me to have them painted and uh, i guess we'll uh, we'll go from there so rocker panels are good and uh hell yeah now you see it with the side skirts on yeah nice what a difference she running now looking good with the side skirts on boy i tell you so there you go guys i was able to see and check out the cavalier i kind of was all over the place and i ended up i ended up selling the car uh because i actually believe it or not got all the money back that i was that i pretty much put into it uh having 10 cars uh, really did it just didn't really fit in especially when I had two trucks three trucks at the time uh, depending, I don't know depending on when I'm going to air this video but now I only have two uh, the Denali sold but uh, it really just didn't sit uh, you know do any justice of really having it when my diesel trucks pretty much got the same gas mileage as the Cavalier maybe the Cavalier got a little bit better yeah it was pretty badass looking I really did like having it but it was a great project it was fun I got to share it with you guys and if I find another one uh, I'll keep that one I am on the hunt for a black one so if anybody has a black z24 I would definitely be willing to buy that from somebody but uh the red one, I think it looked great. You guys got to see the pictures, got to go along with, you know, for, for the ride with it. And uh, that's going to conclude it for the Cavalier uh, chapter. But there probably will be another one coming sooner or later sometime. And that's when we will uh, really start to process all over. And I'll spend some money on some really good paint. I think the paint on that car was only like 3500 bucks or something. So we'll go a little bit further, you know, maybe a five or $6,000. Use some PPG or something like that. And... Uh, just make a, a really nice car and then, you know, get a blower and all this other stuff. Or hell, even maybe supercharger. Maybe I'll do an Ecotech because there's a lot more parts for the Ecotech. I like the body kit of the Z24, obviously, much more. Uh, but, you know, I guess I can always make a fake one and use the Ecotech. I'd rather have the Ecotech. It's just a little bit more robust of an engine, to be honest. And uh, depending on some of the later versions, it has direct injection rather than port injection. So you can always make more with uh, direct injection than you can port. It's just more efficient, even though direct, uh, port is a little bit easier. So, but that's going to conclude it for the Cavalier series. Thanks, guys, for tuning in, and we'll see you guys for another episode here on the Speedbug channel. Peace.